Hey class, uh, I hope things are going well for you. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving weekend. Um, well, this this semester is just going so fast, at least for me. I, I don't know about for you. Um, I, uh, I'm excited for this week's readings, and so I just wanted to to share just a, a, a couple insights on, on uh, some of what you're reading and make a connection. Um, Abinadi is, is, uh, is included in some of the readings that you're, you're studying. And there's, a, there's a verse in Mosiah 15, verses in Mosiah 15, that are often confused. And so I just wanted to touch on it um, and, and just t tie it into another part of Mosiah. At the very beginning of Mosiah 15, Abinadi is teaching the people about the Savior. And he makes the assertion, he says... In verse 2, and because he, being Christ, dwelleth in flesh, he shall be called the Son of God. And having subjected the flesh to the will of the Father, being the Father and the Son. And, and oftentimes people read that and go, wait, I thought it was just Jesus the Son. I thought Heavenly Father was the Father. And he goes on and he explains, he says, the Father because he was conceived by the power of God, and the Son because of the flesh, thus becoming the Father and the Son. This often, this part often confuses people, and I know that there's some supplementary readings and things like that, and, but I just want to make mention here as a way of clarification. When we speak about Jesus as the Father, that's, a, that's another title. Savior has many titles, uh, Redeemer, Savior, uh, Anointed One, Good Shepherd. Father is another accurate title for him, not that he's our Heavenly Father. Certainly, Heavenly Father is our Father. But Jesus, in a very real sense, is the Father of our salvation. It is, and I'm, this is where I connect it back to something that you else that you're reading this week. If you go to Mosiah chapter 5, after King Benjamin finishes speaking to the people and in, in Mosiah 2 through 4, he then asks the people, like, do you believe what I've said? And they say, yes, we do believe it. And... and uh, and we're desirous to make a covenant with God. Because of the way we feel, we want to make a covenant with God. And this is where I, uh, this is where I pick up. Mosiah 5, verse 5. It says, this is the people speaking. We are willing to enter into a covenant with our God to do His will and to be, be, be obedient to His commandments in all things that He shall command us. All the remainder of our days that we may never bring upon ourselves a never-ending torment. They're saying, hey, we, wa we want to make a covenant. And then notice King Benjamin's words to them in verse 7. He says, And now because of the covenant which you have made, you shall be called the children of Christ, his sons and his daughters. For behold, this day he hath spiritually begotten you. For you say that your hearts are changed through faith on his name. Therefore you are born of him and have become his sons and his daughters. Through covenant we become the sons and daughters of Christ. N not that he's our father or our little father. That's Heavenly Father is our little father. But rather, through his atoning sacrifice, our Savior has become the father of our salvation. He's the reason that we gain salvation. And in that sense, when we bind ourselves through covenant, through baptism and then through the temple, to the Savior, he, we, we essentially reach out to him and he essentially becomes the father of our salvation through a covenant type of relationship. Uh, that I hope that that clarifies some things. So whenever I see that form, the Father and the Son, yes, the Heavenly Father sends Jesus and and and, and delegates responsibility to the Son to, to the Savior to come down and preach to the world, but also Father is an accurate title for the Savior, not in the sense of Him being a, a literal, physical Father to us or even a Father of our spirits, but rather the Father of our salvation. He won our salvation for us. He bought it for us through His atoning blood. I hope that clarifies things. Uh, at this time of Christmas, uh, as I read these pages, I, I, again, am just filled with love and gratitude for the Savior. I know that He He loves us, that He knows us, that He His care for us is individual, um, that He desires to bless all of our Father in Heaven's children, all of them, and, uh, and that uh, this is His church. And uh, I leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Just have a great week. Bye.